Okay, we've been talking about this in class, the laws of logarithms. What I hope to do is cover these laws really quickly, and then we'll apply them here using the log, <laughs> laws of logarithms. Um, so here's the first one. Uh, it suggests that this, that if we have log base a of u times w, it can be rewritten as log base a of u, this u is this one, plus log base a of w. And if you think about the rules of exponents, they kind of work the same, right? If we had x to the m times x to the n, oh, well, that didn't turn out good, did it? Um, I'm going to just take a second to do this one really quick, and the rest of them I'm not going to continue to explain as much. But just want you to see that this looks a lot like the law of, of uh, exponents, that we have x to the m times x to the n. We have x to the m plus n power, and I'm hoping that you can see some similarity here. And then here, if we have log base a of u divided by w, we can rewrite that as log base a of u minus log base a of w. The last rule is not as obvious, but it works really, really well. And that rule says that if we have log base a of u to the power of c, we can rewrite that as c log base a of u. Now that's for every real number c. Here's c and here's c. And if you can see what, what, what has happened here is we've taken this value, c value right here, and we've rolled it back like it's a coefficient, haven't we? So let's try to apply that. What I think you should do if you don't already have these rules written down is that you should take a minute, pause the video, write all the rules down, and then move forward because we're going to be applying these rules, and hopefully you'll see how we're doing that. What I've done in this particular video is I've already done all the work so we can get through the video a little bit faster. Uh, so here... Here's the first problem right here. And the first problem just asks us to... The first problem says express x to the third times the square root of y divided by z in terms of logarithms of x, y, and z. <coughs> this is the expanded form, and sometimes what you'll see instead is you'll see expand this thing in terms of that. So express or expand you just have to read what's being asked of you so the first thing I did was if you don't mind I'm suggesting to you that this piece up here that this thing up here that this thing up here is that all right so I just rewrote it and and what I did was we know that the square root of y can be written as a rational exponent and that rational exponent would be one half so this does say the square root of y right and this x third is this one, this z, oops, sorry, this z squared is this z squared. Okay, so now we're in good shape, I think. And then I'm just going to start applying rules. And it's this times this, right? right so I'm just going to rewrite that. And then we know from rule number two, from rule number two, that when we divide, it's minus, isn't it? Okay, so from there, just going to move on a little bit more. So that gets us, and now we look at this, and we know that, it, that log base A of this times this can be writ, rewritten. This multiplication can be rewritten as plus, right? That's rule number one, so you can check your rules here. So did that with everything here. We already had fixed this one. And now what I'm going to do is apply rule number three. And rule number three says if we have an exponent here, we can roll this back and put it in the place of the coefficient. So that's what I'm going to do. Roll this back here and roll this one back here. That should give us... 3, right, because it was x to the third, so this 3 right here is this one, isn't it? It came back to here. Still log base a, plus this was had an exponential value of 1 half, so it got rolled back to here, and that's right there, isn't it? Log base a of y minus, this was z squared, so this got rolled, this 2 got rolled back, so it's here. So it's minus 2 log base a of z, and that's our answer in expanded form. That's our answer in expanded form. Whoa. All right, so here's example number two. Here's example number two. <laughs> and example number two says, express as one logarithm. Uh, often this is written, condense the statement. So here we, ha here we have this. We have one-third log base A of the quantity X squared minus one minus log base A of Y minus... 4 log base a of z. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use rule 3 backwards, if you will. It's a reflective, uh, reflexive rule, so it works both ways, doesn't it? And this comes up here. 
as this exponential value. I'm going to do the same thing here. This comes up as the exponential value. And if you can see what I did here is I factored out. Look, this is a negative. This is a negative. So I factored out this a negative sign. And look, just to see if it works, negative times a negative is that negative. Negative times a positive is this negative. But what I've done is I've made this much easier to put back together. So I hope that's working for you. We know that something to the one-third power, right? we brought this up as a one-third power, something that comes up as a one-third power, this is, becomes the, the cubed root of this thing, doesn't it? And now if we're just looking at this part right here, right now I'm just looking at this part right here. This is why I did it this way. I'm just looking at this part right here. Well, log base A of Y plus log base A of Z to the fourth is y log base a of y times z to the fourth isn't it and this negative sign right here is what created this solidus this fraction bar if you will so there's our answer there's our answer in condensed form and if you want to see if this works then go take do this backwards and take this and express this in terms of log base x y and z and see if you don't get right back to here Okay, I hope this was helpful. Remember, this, is, this kind of stuff just takes a lot of practice, so practice is what we need.